I mean, you cannot look at this, no matter how uneasy or horrible the subject matter might be, you cannot look at this one scene with the bathtub right here and take this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if that face does not strike terror into your soul, then you are not human. <laughs> hey, people, let's go ahead and move on to something else right here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Now, here's what we're going to get into it. Because, I, man, uh, listen, again, it's Valentine's Day, and we're doing a Valentine's Day theme show. And some people talking about, man, you know, I, if only I had someone that loved me. If only I had love in my life. Sometimes love can go horribly, horribly wrong. I'll do this. I will do this. Oh, we no. are doing this. The segue. <laughs> so I'm doing. Do Sometimes love can cross some bad boundaries right here. This, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm doing this. We are doing this. It's done. <laughs> I'm sorry, continue. I, and I know you guys probably don't want to do this, but I've been getting emails and, 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 and I've been getting text messages all day, including yesterday, where people have said, man, you talked about something a while back, and for some reason it's just not blowing up. I tried to warn people out there about this, and I do remember, I watched it myself. And you're probably thinking, what are you, what, what are you talking about, yeah, Corey? How did you what, even find it? What is this thing right here? Well, there's this uh there's this movie out there, short film rather. It's called Something uh, Something Strange a Strange, strange Thing About the Johnsons. About the Johnsons. Mm -hmm. And this is uh this is a short film that just I can't I think it came out like in two thousand eleven. Isaiah, is it okay if I come in? Yeah. Now you're looking at this and you're thinking that this this is uh maybe some after school special or some Hallmark Channel coming thing, of thing, coming of age thing, or maybe even you know afternoon <laughs> be coming. All right, all right, sorry. Maybe this is afternoon BET. You know, I, who knows? But but if you watch, some people saw the trailer while back, and even then they didn't get a good impression of what this was about. They didn't get the full impact. I'm sorry. What for? For what I wrote. What you wrote? You mean your little autobiography? All 300 pages of it? Why are you sorry for what you wrote then? Is it because it could have given mom a heart attack? And some people are like, oh wow, family drama, man. What is going on right here? Well, here's the thing. You know, 2011, we had Spill. And <clears throat> I remember... I, I, when people brought this up, I remember the title a little bit, but I forgot about it, to be honest with you. And then I started watching. I was like, oh, fuck this film. Mm -hmm. Tony and I went off for a long time yeah, about Tony, this. Okay. Yeah, Tony mm -hmm. and I went off on this. I mean, and Billy was there, I think, too. And we went off on this for a while. We had a whole segment about it. And how I forgot about it, I don't know, because I'm going to tell you right now, these guys might not like it, but I love this. Oh, of course you do. I love this. <laughs> I love it. And you're probably thinking about... Okay, well, what is this? And I tried to warn y'all. Years ago, I tried to tell you, there's this crazy thing out there. Nobody listened. And now, six years later, six years later people are watching. It's like, what the fuck is this? Tried to tell you. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it out there for y'all. And tell you what it is about this that is so strange. Because people want us to talk about it. They're like, yeah, man, you got to address this thing right here. Because uh, <clears throat> it is blowing up the internet again. I don't know why it took so long. But with this... Strange things about the Johnsons. I the reason why I love it because it starts out in an unpredictable way. Because when you, from the first moment it begins, you don't know you don't know what this is. It's because it's kind of gentle. But even then, there's a little bit of weirdness about it. Because the first thing that happens is that dad he, dad catches his son in the room jerking off, but he's real cool about it. All right, shoes on, Mister. Wait, wait, don't. Oh, I'm cleaning it. I knocked. Yes. At, the, at that point, it's like dad sits down and he has the most gentle, loving conversation about masturbation that I've, I've ever seen a parent be comfortable to talk about. Which I had no right to interrupt without knocking. And I just wanted to come in, not to make it weird, but just to make sure that you weren't feeling strange. And, and see, everybody's creeped out about that at the beginning because dad is being way too cool about this. Like, if, what's up? See, when I was watching this, right, this 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 short or movie, whatever you want to call it, it's such an emo emotional roller coaster. Oh when yeah. That, when that first happened, I was like, 
wow, this is this is interesting. I've never seen, you know, like mm-hmm. I almost thought I was like, are they trying to go down like a moonlight route where they do something where you haven't seen it before? Like, yeah. a, like a you know, <laughs> black couple, a gay couple or or a, like a dad having a sit down conversation with his son like this. Like, wow, they're they're really going normal with this. And then I was like, all right, maybe there's something here that I'm maybe my mind is just warped and crazy. I'm I'm picking up something. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a few a, minutes later. Oh. It's it's <laughs> way too normal. I mean, because Come on, you know, I mean, I can't speak for all families, but I know in my household, my mother would, if she caught me like that, she would have been, get your hand off your dick. Right? <laughs> yeah, my mother told me, she like, you will not touch your dick in this house. See, I thought it was like the American pie thing, though. Like, he caught him masturbating, and it was like, no, nah. son, listen, it's all right. I'm like, oh, they're doing that with a black family. No, that yeah, because I think in black families, they tell you, do you, you do not touch your dick in this house. I didn't even ask my mom, I'm like, how am I supposed to piss? You better be a bitch and sit down. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, know, you ain't touching your dick in here. I think my mom would have just... Walk back out and be like, "All right, just just do what you got to do. Yeah, and finish and, up, and, and, and come on out, and, and don't look at me for twenty four hours." <laughs> um, well, another thing that makes this whole thing a little, uh, I don't know, weird, uh, creepy is uh, how much the dad looks like an older version of you. I, I know, <laughs> <laughs> with Viola Davis yeah. eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing that's missing is snot coming out of his nose and everything. You know, hey, don't think I wasn't weirded out by that too. <laughs> I'm like, shit, is this a video of me in the future? Right now? Yeah. Especially when you see what happens, man. <laughs> like, damn, is this is this my is this my future? <laughs> Cause I'm looking at that, I'm like, wait a minute, that's that's me. <laughs> looking like a fat album character. And shit. I used to use a vacuum cleaner. So. <laughs> it's okay, son. It's okay to just fuck a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you know, oh <laughs> uh, man, I, you know, when you look at this. It's it's at it's at that point where you're thinking, okay, that was a little odd because you're thinking that the dad might have done something. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're thinking right. like, okay, the, the dad is being too cool about this. The, the conversation goes on a little bit too long. It does. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little awkward. awkward. There's, there's yeah. an awkward thing that happens at the very end of this conversation. I'm like, oh, and that's it. <laughs> you you think that this is creepy from the dad's point of view, and then later on in that same clip right there. Kid lays down on the on the bed and he's jacking off to dad. Yeah, dad with like no shit, like the, taking the most gay club pose that he can. Yeah. And he just went swimming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was at the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, he was. He was that? I'm not gonna lie. When at first I was like, "What is going on? This is a little weird." And when that reveal hit, I laughed my <laughs> ass off. I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, was, I said, "Ew." I was like, "Yeah." I, 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 <laughs> I said, "Ew, ew too." And maybe I would have laughed. But I looked at the time and saw that I still had another 20 minutes. To go. Yeah. Oh, it was more than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 30 minute thing. Yeah. Hey, man, maybe we've, we're, maybe we're sick. We're fucked up. But when I saw that too, when he put that picture yeah. down, I said, ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I was like, that is some sick, twisted shit, but that's hilarious. Well, no, that, was, <laughs> I know. that part right there, because the the, the part right before uh, he you showed, they had the big reveal about the picture, he touches his son on the face, like, while his dick is still yeah. hard. Mm. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he, he, he touches his face and then looks down at his dick. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? And then <laughs> yeah. the picture came out, I was like, oh, no, it's one of these. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, man. That's I'm, just what I thought. <laughs> and, and, uh, man, for, for, for thir- Martin said, well, I got a few more minutes of this. I think this is one of the best short films I've ever seen because they know how to use their time wisely. They yeah. 30 minutes and they take you through so many twists and turns because mm-hmm. right when you think that, okay, this is <laughs> this is a this is a movie where it's some it's 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 uh it's an Oedipus, an Oedipus complex except mom has a dick now, you know, and right. it's like it's and they're gonna be touching on this how the family has to work through this. It's mm. gonna be a family drama. And it's gonna be this big secret where dad and son have to work together to keep from tearing the family apart. And you think it might have uh, maybe dad and son will run off at the end together. You don't know. But quickly, quickly you discover that dad dad is the victim. Yes. That like at at this wedding, at the son's wedding, he is so into dad that he, at his own wedding, he's molesting dad. He's grabbing ass. <laughs> right, you need to see yeah. this shit, man. Yeah, and, <laughs> and look at this. And look, he grabbed, yeah. he grabbed that ass and like, ah, yes, that's the spot. And the dad's you, like, no, please. And dad is so, dad is being, not only is he a victim, but he's being terrorized. He goes catatonic yes. in some sense. Yeah, but, he does. He he is so he is so terrorized and such a victim now that like at this wedding, like son is so into dad that at his own wedding he can't wait to just bring dad into an alley and like you know, give him oral sex. While his mother is watching. While his mother's watching, yeah, and he, and the whole time dad just checked out. 
he looks like droopy right now. Oh, not again. <laughs> yeah. you know? This is the this is where it hit the turning point for me. Where it's like this is kind of at first oh, I, this was it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, at first yeah. I thought it was gonna be Dude. at first I thought it was gonna be like kind of like a dark comedy. Uh-huh. Like, but then when that happened, I was like, oh shit, this is horrifying because yeah. he's tearing at his pants like an animal. Oh, he's, he's like yeah. <laughs> and, then, and yeah, his he's, he's clawing at his pants. Yeah, <laughs> and, and uh, just shell shock. And that, that actor who plays the dad, he's so good. He just conveys so he conveys mm-hmm. in his face that this has been going on for years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great when he's not talking, but the second that dad actor starts <laughs> talking, it has to do certain actions. Oh, I know. That's the comedy aspect. Oh, I this. know. And they and this, they just don't stop. I love the way it's like I, it, I'm looking at this man. It's like a fucking starving rat yeah. digging. You know, they, they digging at somebody's flesh. You know, on the it's, day of his wedding. On the day yeah. of his wedding, and it. In that one scene, they top it, man. It's like enough to see that, but like mom is looking at this, and she's like, "Well, shit, good. I ain't got to do it tonight myself." <laughs> you know? But she's well, her first time to see it. She's horrified, and she's a long scene where she works it in her mind to just go along with it. Yeah. Oh, I know, man. I know. It like it, it and when you watch this, man, it's. I mean, dad is being raped. He's being, you know, uh, sexually assaulted by his own son who terrorizes him. And they have all these scenes where it looks it feels like a thriller at first because you see what just happened right there. And then there's these moments where the son just gets real possessive over dad. I've been laughing a couple of scenes, and I think you're about to bring one of them up. Is it this one right here? I'm thinking about the bathtub. Oh, give it time, man. Okay. Oh, I'm getting to that. Okay. No, at the dinner table, like he, the son, it feels like a thriller, like something really hard is about to go down. There's some real suspense there because the son is jealous of mom, and they have this whole thing where the son is just trying to show, you know, this ownership over over his dad. And while they're sitting there, like he's really jealous of mom and dad holding hands. And the whole time he just has to, he has to show dominance over them. Oh, at least over dad, because mm. you can see right here where he's playing footsies with him under the table. And <laughs> it's a, I love the way Corey looking at this is like, God damn it. Why do you make us watch this, man? That's, that's what I thought the whole time. <laughs> I mean, if you send that email going, okay, for the show tonight, yeah. you must watch this. All caps. You, yeah, you, you caps. must watch this. And it's short. I could go to 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like 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 you're that son and we're all the dad. Exactly. <laughs> I was in the tub. I know. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm rubbing Mark's foot right now. <laughs> you look right here. My foot is right there. <laughs> Well, Corey, they're not for you. They're Martin's. <laughs> Martin's bottle of water. But, all right, man, if y'all just hear me out, the reason why I admire this is because right when you think it's a thriller, it goes into other areas. You know, there's that moment where they pl- they bring on horror. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, yes, they do. There's the, it, they're, and they film it like a horror movie. Like, there's that point where dad doesn't want him to be discovered because he's giving clues about what's happening. Yeah. And they show things like, Shadows in the hallway where he's lurking and shit. Dramatic music kicking in. Dramatic music kicking in, and and even uh, we on that damn Mac Macintosh computer. Got that <laughs> that wheel of death. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for using the Mac in the first that, place. That wheel pretty much telling him, yeah, it's raping time. <laughs> I sit there like, just turn off the screen. Just turn off the screen. <laughs> just yank that shit out the wall. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Just throw it on the floor. Just <laughs> and even when the even when the the sun gets into the room after all this is happening. You know he has the tone of a of a of a way too calm serial killer. <laughs> hey pop, time for din dins. <laughs> I love the time for din dins. It, it there ain't no black man in his life ever said time for din dins. <laughs> Carlton uh, from the uh, Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Never look at Fresh Prince the same way yeah. again. Who yeah. knows what he was doing to Uncle Phil? Exactly. <laughs> so if you hear a black dude come in and say time for din dins, he's probably raping his dad, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. or killing people or something. He's a cannibal or something. I got your scene though, man. Cause this is this. Here's the now. Here's the reason why I can sit back and enjoy this, and I really love the way you guys are reacting because it's that horror element and some things, some 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 other things that come in that say, you know what. This is a satire, borderline and almost parody, mm-hmm. parody of a, of a lot of uh, different genres out there in one. It's parodying these these uh, these made for TV family sure. dramas. It's parodying horror movies, thrillers, that hand that rocked the cradle type thing. And I mean, you can't help you. I mean, you cannot look at this, no matter how uneasy or horrible the subject matter might be. You cannot look at this one scene with the bathtub right here and take this seriously. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, if that face does not strike terror into your soul, then you are not human. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing man I'm the whole time watching this I couldn't figure out if this is like a satire this is a I legit say, yeah, real thing I, I, I was the same way <laughs> and then that happened I was like I don't, y'all don't even know what y'all wanna do anymore man the way that dude busted the door like the Terminator right there <laughs> <laughs> with the Kool-Aid man oh yeah like he, that, he want that ass so much he's unstoppable right now you know if you if you can't look at that and think and, and know that this isn't some kind of parody of something and you know, then I tell you what, then it's done its job. But is it though? Because like this is this is the I think the first time I've seen rape be used as a parody. Yeah, there's nothing funny about this. I, yeah, there's not. <laughs> I didn't find it funny at all. <laughs> but you were the first one to open up saying, "Man, I laughed until oh, I found it hilarious." I told you where that turning point was though. That and that happens early, which is like the next scene. Yeah. <laughs> so like from that point on, I was like, "This shit is horrifying." <laughs> yeah. I, you know, something here's it, I, I will tell you, it's because. People will look at things, and I think they used uh, the rape of the dad in this to show you just how ridiculous some of these uh, these family, these, these really melodramatic family dramas are that you see on TV. You know, I mean, at, uh, how far that they will go, and really how we react to certain things with certain subject matters. You I know? thought it was more showing, uh, it was uh, pointing a mirror at dads who, uh, who raped their kids. Well, and see, that's the other thing with this, man. Because, I mean, finally, you know, that it, it, does, it does get to a point where it makes you question things. And they do it. I mean, you have to, you have to look at everything. They're making fun of horror, thrillers, melodram- melodramas, especially in this scene right here when Dad ran at the house, <laughs> when they had that big, long crying scene. But there's being scared and there's being a coward. And right now, you're, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> oh, God, I can't take yeah, it. Yeah, I was just so like, wait, is he, is he <coughs> did he did he buy it or is he just like I gotta get the fuck out of here? I I, man, I don't know. But here's the thing. That's why I, that I tell you why I love this so much because it is controversial. And it is it is uh it's gotten a lot of people angry. But I think in its in its uh satirization and also in being a parody, I think one of the things that it was that it was doing all that while also actually Making a point uh, about sexual, about sexual violations, rapes, uh, molestation, because we're so caught up on the dad being victimized, being victimized by the son. You know, we're so uh, we're so caught up in this storyline and how weird and strange that is that we're not. Asked, you know, some people have sat back and asked the question. You know, maybe this is one thing where they're not showing us something like it's making you ask. Okay, at what point? Did this dad maybe do this? You know, at what point did he maybe actually initiate this whole thing and just, and mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and 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 cause his son to be so disturbed that this is what happened? You know, gave the, gave his son some sort of. Uh, and so we're uh, blaming the victim, is what you're saying? What's that? You're blaming the victim. Oh, I'm not blaming the victim. I'm saying that maybe there's something done because if he, I, it, and I'm not saying that that's what happened in this. I'm saying it does bring up questions like at some point, what is the subtext here? Because it's you know you don't always have to show these things. I think that there's a story but they don't even here. hint at it. Uh, I think they kind of do. They hint at it, but the way that the timeline doesn't add up because they <clears throat> the the mom in here says there was a night when you brought him back from prom. Was that the first night that you did this? Mm-hmm. And he just starts breaking down and starts crying. <laughs> but you, they already showed a picture of him when he was masturbating to his dad, and it looked like he was younger than eighteen. But that so doesn't he already had a that still doesn't say anything, dad. though. You know, and uh, and yeah, I mean, I mean, you're saying blame the victim. I mean, uh, this is not anything where you sit up here and turn around and saying, "Hey, you're shithead, you're a shitty person for like uh, blaming that." Well, what did you do guy. to make him rape you? Yeah, well, chances are, maybe. I mean, you know, it's a, don't look at me like that because there's a <laughs> point where. There's a there's some subtext here where maybe he did something to his son to actually, you know, where maybe and I'm not saying it is or it isn't. I'm saying people could actually read into this where he probably molested his son or raped his son and then it came back. I can't say probably. The, I mean, they, a, that, there's a lot of hints to it, but they don't give they don't come flat out and say this is what happened. So that's I think that's where I think that the parody of this kind of breaks out is where it, it kind of doesn't really carry over because you don't know 
what the stakes are. Usually with parody, you know what the what the the thing is. It's it's such common knowledge that when it's done when it's parodied, you understand it. But with this, you don't understand. Did he molest his son? Uh, how did how did this relationship start? What's going on here? That, but it, see, it, that's what makes it brilliant to me because you know, and maybe it's just me. I love movies where they don't explain things. You walk away and you put stuff together. And maybe that happened. Maybe it didn't. I'm not even saying that that's what happened here. I'm just saying somebody can walk away. Like, for example, the Babadook. I'm not going to say that there was. That there are two things that happened to Babadook. And when you saw it, you flat out told me, like, I only saw one thing there, man. I didn't even think about it until you brought it up. I think people have a tendency to see things more in a movie than some others. And I think when you walk away with that, that you actually walk away with a better film. They told you several stories while telling you just one. And I think that, yeah, maybe this is uh, satirizing some things. Maybe it's being a parody of some things. But I also think it does some things effectively. And it does it in 30 minutes where movies can't even do that in an hour and a half. I think the shocking subject matter here is what's really bothering people. And I even like that better. I like that people watch this and they're like, man, I'm so disturbed by this that I hate it. Because this movie is doing what it should do. It's a, with satire, sometimes it should be played so straight. Sometimes some movies should give its message across so straight that some people don't get it the first viewing and they're angry. I think controversy works sometimes, you know, and, I, and that's just me. You know, I, I and, 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 you know, we watch a movie like uh, L, where I think that kind of was the same thing, where they took sub, the subject of rape. And it's Paul Verhoeven where I think that he had a movie. If you know Paul Verhoeven with L, it was a movie that was played so straight. But there was some some hints of comedy in there where it's almost like, well, this movie's not even meant to be taken that seriously, even though it was <clears throat> a big uncomfortable subject matter in there about the, uh, the rape of females. I understand that. And, and with yeah. Elle, like, I felt like the comedy was done better in that than it was in this because, I mean, there's not a moment where somebody kicks, like, that bathtub scene. Like, that was some goofy-looking shit. But in Elle, there's a scene, like, where she's getting raped and there's a cat just looking at it. Now, it's almost right. laughable. But, but that's but that's the thing. When, the, when she's sitting there getting raped and you see the cat, you're like, wow, this is really messed up. And, you know, the cat's obviously not doing nothing because he's a cat. And you could go and I guess find that funny but it, it just seems more of a, a dramatic element to me but yeah. here it just seems like they were they were like you said they were intentionally doing a, a satirization of it it doesn't make much sense to sh show light on it and then make fun of it yeah what do you feel Gers? Uh I didn't really <clears throat> pick up on much satire in here at all honestly like the only parts that made me laugh were like I said at the very beginning and then the following scene I was like Ooh, this is not funny. This is not funny at all. Well, does this does that mean that it kind of worked for you with the the drama that they were doing? I mean, I know it's over over dramatized and melodrama, but uh huh. Uh, actually, it worked for me a lot. Um, I thought actually, I thought all the actors did a good job selling it because it, I did think it could be something that could go into really goofy territory, mm -hmm. and I thought the actors actually did a good job of grounding it. Like, <laughs> I did fear for this father like did, crazy. Don't didn't you, man? Yeah, I felt <laughs> so bad for him. Like, I, I, hey, look, I'm laughing. Because you know that dude just has a funny face right there, but I felt horrified for him. It is, it's strange. Like it is, I haven't seen anything quite like this before, so I could see people being put off by it. Um, but uh, I was definitely engaged by it. And I think that that actor who played the son was 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 good. Yeah, and he, it helps that he kind of sounds like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds kind. He sounds weird. Yeah, he's he like, does. just put that in your fucking book. I was like, oh fuck, like dude. that part. Where he's like, I don't like like Norris. Yeah, it's like Gerald's threatening. Me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> but yeah, was, yeah, you know, I feel about locked doors. It was just like <laughs> it made it it made him more effective. I was scared of that dude. So man. will you go back and watch this? Maybe. I I okay. watched it yeah. except for that part. I agree with you every, with everything you said. Uh -huh. uh, I was I felt disturbed by it, but I I wouldn't have if it hadn't been if the actors hadn't sold it if it hadn't been so well shot. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, as far as funny, uh, yeah, the, the, that first reveal was funny, but realizing that this whole thing was going to be about that, I'm like, man, I just don't like living in this world with this. But I appreciate sort of the the message that's there, at least what what I pulled from it, mm -hmm. which was nothing about satire or even anything funny mm -hmm. uh it's 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 definitely effective but i wouldn't want to watch it again well the, you know the reason why i thought you might be uh like you might appreciate this because we love movies like this you oh, know movies yeah. that make you feel uncomfortable movies yeah, that put yeah. stuff out there that make other people squirm oh yeah absolutely and mm. I, I, I i i would love to be in a room full of people watching this for the first time mm -hmm. i love people seeing people uncomfortable I, and i know the difference between something that's doing his job badly and something that's doing his job effectively and i think that this it's all a matter of opinion of course but i think it did effectively I, you know, I feel like we should give a rating, but that's you know that's not the, that's not the case right here. You know, it's just it's just something we want to talk about because people said, "Damn, you know, you talked about this years ago, and nobody has been talking about it up until now, and even I forgot about it." 
And when I saw it, it took me a while to remember. I was like, you know what? <laughs> what I feel like I'm being raped watching this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. That's because that's what's happening right here. Mm-hmm. But if you haven't seen it, people, it's 30 minutes. If nothing else, even if you don't like it, it it's a good conversation piece. Yeah, yeah. man. And it's well shot. Like, yeah, for yeah. really well shot. Really well shot. I think this was, it showed at Sundance, correct? Or some kind of fest. Festival. I didn't even know that. Yeah, uh, when you look at the, the Vimeo page, it says... Uh, it was premiered at some kind of festival. Yeah, and the guy that uh, the guy that made this, let me see if I can find it here, because the guy that uh, actually, the guy that did this is not, he's not like you think at all. In fact, this guy, oh it's yeah, an Asian woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a dude named oh, I forgot his name and uh, his name is really Ari somebody. Name. There it is, right there. Like, yeah, I love rape. Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> are oh, you shit, uncomfortable he, yet? He dresses like that dad in the movie. <laughs> He does, man. He's wearing the same shit. I didn't even know. Yeah. He's like, help me. Yeah. <laughs> Been raped so many times I turned black. But this right here, man, that guy, he's never made he's never made a, a, a feature film that I've seen on IMDb yet. No kidding. Yeah, he's gone on and done a lot of short films. And I want to see what his other short films are like. Hmm. So Did he write this as well? Or just yeah, he, yeah, he did. Oh. Yeah, so this guy, this guy, yeah. I think he's an amazing talent. I'm, I'm surprised I've never seen anything that he's done uh, feature lengthwise. But maybe with this resurgence of this, he will. I was looking around because I watched this right before I came in here. And um, I saw one, I, I Googled it, and I saw one guy was reviewing, and he was like, this is the most touching thing, like, as a, as a victim right, of. Settle your ass down. Yeah, and I was oh. like, all right. But he's like, I oh, hate okay. that. He's like, I hate that I look around the internet and I see people dogging this movie out and saying it's a piece of shit. You just don't understand. If you were a victim of this, I'm like, all right, this is, this is a, a hot topic for you. I, I can totally see this being a trigger for that. Oh, yeah. oh, no, I totally do. Again, that's why I like it, man. I'm telling you. But I, I'm <laughs> fucked up. What can I say? So yeah. uh, I feel like if you had been sexually abused, you wouldn't be liking it so much. Or I'd be liking it more. I'd be like, hey, you know something? Because so, some people like, they feel like this is putting it out in the open. And who cares if people don't like it? It is, man. It's just, it's just God, comparing this to L. Some, <laughs> somebody said this needs to be on BET. <laughs> <laughs> and no, because no. it's mostly black people watching. It's like, man, fuck this movie. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. <laughs> Watch it with your dad, though. You know, it might, might be close. <laughs> he will be disowned. Yeah. <laughs> Father, oh, I wish you would. Try to yeah. that. <laughs> little Father's Day viewing for everybody out there. Gamefly brings to your house, to you, over 8,000 new releases in classics that are available to rent, or you can buy them. For almost every system out there, current and some old systems. Like I said, man, I've been trying to put my GameCube back to work for years. Gamefly is giving me an excuse to do that. And you can even try 30 days for free by typing in GameflyOffer.com forward slash double toasted. And when you do that, you'll get 30 days for free of games and movies. Get all those things, all of them at once. Just stay in the house. Don't go nowhere because they're all going to get brought right to your mailbox. You can also bring the element of surprise every month to your home in the form of a Loot Crate mystery box. In that box, I can't tell you what it is, but I can guarantee you it is the best in geek and gaming gear. Some people say it's like having Comic-Con brought right to your home. You don't have to leave the house for nothing. You're getting all kind of stuff. And everybody likes a little surprise every month. Just a little bit. And here's another surprise for you. You know... If you go to our link, trylootcrate.com forward slash double toasted, and you type in bridge 10, that's the word bridge in the number 10, you can get 10% off, a a 10% discount on your first crate. How's that for a surprise right there? Loot Crate, bring the mystery and the surprise to your mailbox once a month with Loot Crate. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty.